presentation of this beautiful 242 Baja Islander. So coming up into the bow here, vinyl's in beautiful shape, be even prettier after we clean it. It's going into detail for detail after this video. The way the timing worked out, we wouldn't have enough time to clean it, then do the video, so we'll do the video, then clean it. So we got a nice room up here at the bow filler cushion to lay out. We got storage here. So let's stay to one side after an overall view. Let's go port side. Now you see a lot of people going up and down the lake all the time with their windshields open. I always shut it. I mean, it's a big, thick, heavy frame. But if you lift it over and it stays there, it'll begin to bow against that window. A little side cabin here. It's a nice, thick, heavy door. We got storage. We got snap covers, a full cover. Place to put a toilet, light. It's a bigger compartment than you'd really think. Okay. So, vinyl's in absolute stunning shape. It does have the dropout bolster seats. Just lift the handle down. It drops out. Okay. Looking at our gunnel here. Back seat. Let's do sun pad. I like how it's kind of angled here, so when you're laying out, you've got kind of a backrest. Definitely get a real good view of the stitching because it's all nice. We've got the extended swim platform. I got the captain. go to start the boat put your plug in before you put it in the water after you get your plug in then you can put it in the water right back here we got dual batteries to switch so we turn this to all okay all just like that the alternator is going to charge all the batteries if we're going to cove out throw an anchor drink beer listen to the radio what have you switch it to one or two that way if you go to start it you got one fully charged battery now if your batteries are completely dead you can hook up auxiliary power to this battery jumper cable whatever it'll raise the hatch for you so three things that won't start click click clicks dead battery turn the key over nothing happens whatsoever if it's not in neutral it won't start there's a neutral safety switch and i like these separate lavorsi shifters they're nice but it does have to be dead center turn the key over nothing happens whatsoever kill switch right there okay so from there it's fuel injected multi-port so we just turn the key we interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Just like that, okay? Always, always have your throttle dead when you go to shift, but it's real smooth, okay? The steering feels really good. So there's reverse, neutral. I was kind of drifting close to that old dock, so that's why I started talking faster. Forward. Okay, our tilt and trim is right here on our throttle. Up, down. It's right here in the middle. Up. Down. Oh, it's over here. For our up. Down. There we go. So that's just down on the shifter. Our tab controls are here. Now the tabs work, but the indicators don't. The lights. So this is tilt and trim when you're boating. This takes it all the way up out of the water. You hold it down. That'll take it all the way out of the water when you get it on the trailer. So when you get it back on the trailer, trim up. Make sure your tabs are up. Okay, trim up, tab up. The tabs will catch the trailer. The trim will catch the ground. Okay, automatic fire suppression systems charge. We got tilt steering. It's adjustable right here. Okay, fuel's good. Tax good, bolts good, speed I won't know until we take off. We know the trim gauge works, our temp's good, oil pressure's good. Our uh, depth finder is on a button right here, okay? And it's about 50 feet at these no egg buoys, so we'll check it to see how accurate it is. And we got Hillbilly GPS right there. So, button switches, we got horn, nav light, all these work. We checked them out while ago. Red and green's when you're driving at night, white. Plugs in the back, stops at night, white light. Bilge pump's automatic, you'll never use it. 
engine hatch, your power hatch, okay? Up, down. We'll open that up later when we get back on the trailer. Cabin lights are in the cabin, engine lights are in the engine compartment, courtesy lights are in here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh yeah, there we go, there's one. Oh, there's another one. It's easier to find these things at night, by the way, in the daytime. Shut that off, blower here. Captain's call exhaust. Can you hear how much quieter it got? Now, very important to remember, only switch your exhaust at idle speed like this. Idle forward, okay? What we're doing is determining through a position. All right, we're out here on the water at the beautiful Lake of the Ozarks to do the video presentation of this beautiful 242 Baja Islander. So coming up into the bow here, finals in beautiful shape even prettier after we clean it. It's going into detail for detail after this video. The way the timing worked out, we wouldn't have enough time to clean it, then do the video. So we're do the video, then clean it. So we got a nice room up here at the bow filler cushion to lay out. We got storage here. So let's stay to one side after an overall view. Let's go port side. Now you see a lot of people going up and down the lake all the time with their windshields open, I always shut it. I mean, it's a big, thick, heavy frame, but if you lift it over and it stays there, it'll begin to bow against that window. A little side cabin here. It's a nice, thick, heavy door. We got storage. We got snap covers, a full cover. Place to put a toilet, light. It's a bigger compartment than you'd really think. Okay. So, vinyl's in absolute stunning shape. It does have the dropout bolster seats. Just lift the handle down. It drops out. Okay. Looking at our gunnel here. Back seat. Let's do sun pad. I like how it's kind of angled here so when you're laying out, it's got kind of a backrest. Definitely get a real good view of the stitching because it's all nice. We've got the extended swim platform. I got the captain exhaust on now it is baffled so if you want to take that out those baffles it'll be a lot louder okay walk through transom let's take a good hard look at the back bench seat no threads or frays or anything funky got our cockpit carpet in my shoes got our starboard side gunnel looks nice captain's chair looks nice so first things first, when we go to start the boat, put your plug in before you put it in the water. After you get your plug in, then you can put it in the water. Right back here, we got dual batteries to switch. So we turn this to all, okay? All, just like that. The alternator is gonna charge all the batteries. If we're gonna cove out, throw an anchor, drink beer, listen to the radio, what have you, switch it to one or two. That way, if you go to start it, you got one fully charged battery. Now, if your batteries are completely dead, you can hook up auxiliary power to this battery, jumper cable, whatever, it'll raise the hatch for you. So three things that won't start, click, click, clicks, dead battery, turn the key over, nothing happens whatsoever. If it's not in neutral, it won't start. There's a neutral safety switch. And I like these separate Lavorsi shifters. They're nice, but it does have to be dead center. Turn the key over, nothing happens whatsoever. Kill switch, right there, okay? So from there, it's fuel injected, multi-port, so we just turn the key. Just like that, okay? Always, always have your throttle dead when you go to shift, but it's real smooth, okay? The steering feels really good. So there's reverse, neutral. I was kind of drifting close to that old dock, so that's why I started talking faster. Forward. Okay, our tilt and trim is right here on our throttle. Up, down. It's right here in the middle. Up. That's just down on the shifter. Our tab controls are here. Now the tabs work, but the indicators don't, the lights. So this is tilt and trim when you're boating. This takes it all the way up out of the water. You hold it down. That'll take it all the way out of the water when you get it on the trailer. So when you get it back on the trailer, trim up, make sure your tabs are up. Okay, trim up, tab up. 
the tabs will catch the trailer, the trim will catch the ground. Okay, automatic fire suppression systems charge. We got tilt steering, it's adjustable right here. Okay, fuel's good, tack's good, bolt's good, speed I won't know until we take off. We know the trim gauge works, our temp's good, oil pressure's good. Our uh, depth finder is on a button right here. Okay, and it's about 50 feet at these no egg buoys, so we'll check it to see how accurate it is. And we got hillbilly GPS right there. So, button switches we got horn, nav light, all these work. We checked them out while ago. Red and greens when you're driving at night, white plugs in the back, stops at night, white light. Bilge pumps automatic, you'll never use it. Engine hatch, your power hatch, okay, up, down. We'll open that up later when we get back on the trailer. Cabin lights are in the cabin, engine lights are in the engine compartment, courtesy lights are in here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh yeah, there we go, there's one. Oh, there's another one. It's easier to find these things at night, by the way, than in the daytime. Shut that off. Blower here. Captain's call exhaust. Can you hear how much quieter it got? Now, very important to remember, only switch your exhaust at idle speed like this idle forward okay what we're doing is determining through a position starting over and running out of storage so what we're doing there when we hit that button is determining how our boat pumps out the exhaust and water which it uses to keep the motor cool so i promise you not the first time but maybe the tenth time one of the times for sure you're going to break the little bar that uh, turns the flapper if you're uh, changing your exhaust at a high speed okay so button switches outside of that accessory god knows sometimes it's something weird at night time okay so now let's go ahead and accelerate oh we need to turn the radio on so remotes work that's rare find a station that comes in here's one hey Bart. hey blue how are you buddy i'm all out god i'm a i have to do talk I'm radio where i'll actually get flagged for copyright got some big boats out of here but we're going to go ahead and make this happen all right so now it is a single prop, so if you hammer down, sometimes with this much horsepower, you'll actually blow out, which means your props are spinning, not spinning fast enough to keep up with the power on the shaft. take off again with the exhaust open so you can kind of hear that sorry I bounced around a lot those two big boats came by and made it rough there we go now trailer now this is where people struggle sometimes they get the trailer too far in the water do you see how I can you can we can barely see the front bunks out of the water that's what you need okay if the trailer's too deep in the water boats floating on top the trailers down in so you really don't know where you're going so if you get the boards out this trailer is made specifically and only for this boat it would only fit another boat by complete accident okay so you get those on and just drive right up then you get a good friend named Matt that's really good looking Go ahead and help me up. Come up and tighten you up. Straight 
straight ahead? Yep. So one other thing it's important to remember is as you're moving it forward on the trailer, don't round round herky jerky. That's what gets people hurt. Nice, slow, steady applied pressure. While he moves forward, just maintain it again. So it's up nice and tight. You want the bow eye on the roller. I'll mention that when I do the exterior walkthrough. Well, I'm going to shut her down. Always turn your battery switch off and take your plug out when you pull it out of the water. Trailer trim. Bring it all the way up. Now I just had this happen. If the key's off, your trim gauge won't come on to show you. Okay? So, that's why. There we go, buddy. Alright, Billy's taking the plug out. We just got it out of the water here. So, let's do out drive little tiny chip on the very end of the skeg. Cavitation plate looks good. Props perfect. We'll use some touch-up paint when they clean it and touch that up. The rest of it looks good. Tabs are good. Platform. Real nice. No gel coat scars. So let's go above rub rail here. see anything above the rub rail point out let's go below rub rail gel coat's in nice shape and we haven't even cleaned it yet there's some scuffs in the decals not the gel coat the only scratch i've seen i've seen one little one one medium one medium ones over here there's a little one okay okay there's the so let's do hull. The hull's nice, there's nothing. The trailer's nice too. It's got newer tires on it, matches the boat. Strikes are good, shines good, kills good. It's never been beached. Well, there she is, buddy. In her entirety. Good looking boat. Sorry about that. Get a good view.